Five days after Mandera County found itself entangled in the effects of a dispute between Somalia and Jubaland, county leaders are now calling for tougher measures in containing the situation, saying fear is still rife among the Mandera residents. There is heavy security buildup on both sides of the warring functions. This situation has created panic and led to the displacement of people from the following centers around Mandera town. Bula Customs, Bula Garai, Bula Impia, Bula Arabia, Bula Busle, Border Point One and Barwako. The leaders who appreciated the agreement between President Uhuru Kenyatta and the President of Somalia, Farmanjo, on the de-escalation of the tension between the two warring factions along the Kenya-Somalia border, however, expressed fear on the spillover effects, terming the current situation uncertain. It has become extremely difficult to balance between supporting our government's position and representation of the plight of our population who are involuntarily caught up in this conflict, making it impossible for us to keep quiet while our people are suffering. The leaders called for better coordination between them and the national security agencies as the population in the area is looking up to the leadership for guidance. However, the leaders called on the Kenyan government to prioritize the interests of its people first, even as it seeks to contain the situation. We therefore demand that our government expels these foreign forces from Mandera with immediate effect. On Wednesday, President Uhuru Kenyatta chaired a National Security Council meeting where he warned the neighboring Somalia against provoking Kenya, accusing them of blatant breach of Kenya's territorial integrity. And amid debate over the tension, a group of youth representatives from Mandera County have hit out at some of their leaders, accusing them of funding criminality in the region. Tend to know that 11 Kenyan MPs and two Somali leaders are from the same clan, a clan that has continuously waged war against the rest of us. This is also the clan that mainly forms the Al-Shabaab in Somalia. The secret trips by our MPs, which was funded by the Somali government, exposes that they wanted to sell Kenyan's plan of countering Al-Shabaab in the region, therefore exposing all of us to continued attacks which further affect business and normal life in the region. The accusations coming hot on heels of a secret Somalia trip by 11 Northeastern members of parliament. Kamche Menza for Channel 1 News.